So I know Queenie's on this one. I'm going to town. Good. I don't want to smash all those bees. Ow! Shit. Ow! Is that hit? Today, <clears throat> I brought my syrup, sugar water up. So, I've got a little feeder. This is just sugar and water. And that helps them, helps feed them. And um, they're building their comb up. So this box is full, that box is full, I added this box in between, and uh, they're building it out. So, thought I'd video for a minute. I've already said good morning to my bees. I usually play music, I just turned it off. You can feel that vibration when I throw that down. Um, so I was playing some bluegrass for them this morning, but I can't record and play music at the same time. So. We'll see how they go. Oh, I need to light my smoker. That would really help keep them cool. So I got my smoker here. I have not mastered the art of keeping it going yet. Um, so I'm one of those guys that end up having to relight it a few times. But they don't need a lot of smoke. Once they get in there, Kind of get going. So I'll throw a little, I use pine needles. So I'm just gonna throw a little smoke from the entrances here. Let them know I'm, let them know I'm coming. So they smell that. I usually like to keep it kind of going in the air. Um, what they'll do is they'll go in and then, in theory, they will go down into the hive and gorge, eat on some honey, because they think there's a fire, it's an emergency. So that's what they do, and it covers any alarm, pheromone, alarm, sense, and all that stuff. So, here we go. The rule of thumb is, you want to see butts, not eyes. If you see eyes, they're all looking out. It's the guardians. And, uh, they're looking pretty good. I, I don't even think I need to smoke them. A lot of butts. A lot of honey. Holy mackerel. A whole bunch. Um, so, I'll move this out of the way, over here, they're coming out, they're saying hi, when they start bumping me, kind of tapping on me, right now they're just checking me out, okay, good morning, I'll throw a little smoke on them, it's not too windy this morning, um, so that's good. So that smoke just kind of sets. Yeah, boom, there's no bees on top. They all just went down inside. So, but I'm after the middle box. I wanna see how that's coming along since they, uh, since I put it on. I mean, it was all empty frames. So, oh man, that sucker's getting heavy. Yep, there's a whole bunch of bees. Man, they're getting after it. Building comb, doing good. So I'll throw a little smoke on them. Cause they're, they didn't get the memo. So they're all pretty cool. One thing I've learned, man, too, man, they were really building that comb out, is uh, they kind of, they, they, they sense your vibe, you know? So I like to make sure that I'm, I stay calm, do a lot of breathing, and I do that by talking to my bees. Good morning. 
appreciate you guys doing a great job. Uh, yeah, Just let them know, know I'm here. And they are really getting after it. So when I come out, come out nice and slow. I don't want to kill too many. I don't want to roll them over. Man, they are already packing that full of honey. And that's a new comb, both sides. So that's pretty killer, I'll show you. I don't know how well you can see that. It's all honey in there. Both sides of it. So I just put that frame on, I don't know, a week and a half ago? Nah, two weeks ago, about two weeks ago. So my queen, she's down in the bottom box. So um, in the middle, middle frames. That's where they, she likes to lay, lay her babies. But these, yeah, honey. So this box is gonna be a heavy box because they're just filling it with honey. And that top box, there was a bunch of brood. And brood is babies. And like a chicken will get broody. And that's what bees do. Excuse me. Coming through. Oh. Yeah, I just smashed one. So there's an alarm pheromone. So I better, because they're gonna get upset. One, I crunched one. I can see it right there. And whack. One came out right from my face. This frame is heavy. Tons of honey in that. Holy mackerel. That's awesome. So that's something else that the sugar water does. It really helps uh, with that honey production. And what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna check. So this frame here on the outside, it's not as full. Uh, so I'm gonna move it in, yeah. And then I'll push these out. Yeah, there's hardly any comb on this side. So I'll push these frames out. That one that I just pulled out, I'm gonna put it on the outside. Move it out. Be careful not to smash any bees. I'm going to take this one that needs to be built out. Put it towards the middle. And this next frame, I imagine it's going to be pretty full. If not, even have some brood where the queen comes up and lays eggs. It's not real heavy. Yeah, but they're working on it. <clears throat> A lot of pollen in that one. The pollen typically will go towards the outside. So, I think I'll move some around. That's basically what I'm doing is I'm just kind of sorting frames. That one's got some weight to it. It's got some honey. Oh, it's got brood. So, brood's babies. Um, I mean, the queen may be up on this frame, if it's possible. Yep, there she is. So my queen is on this frame. She's in the upper box now. So right there, crawling around, she's underneath. Right there, that long roach beetle looking, that's a queen. It's my queen. That long one right there. I don't know if you can see that. She is doing a good job. She's really getting after it. Right there. So that's cool. She was down in the bottom box. So she moved up to this one, which is not uncommon for her to move up. So I'll leave her, this frame in the center with her. So it's good to know. I'll note that. That she's now in the middle box. So I sh should see a lot more brood being laid honey 
more honey. I'll leave that one right there. So that's good to know. Very cool. Um, let me check this out outer frame here. I got some eyes looking at me. I may need to throw a little smoke on them. Bring that one in. Bring that one in. That one didn't like that. That's a guardian. Coming, coming up towards my face. take this frame that's got honey I'm gonna move it to the outside I mean they're building it out pretty good um, but I'm gonna slide it in right here and knowing my queen is in here I got to be careful pushing these frames around because I don't want to squish her that's what I like to call a bad day. Don't want to smash them. All right. Put that frame down in here. I, you know, some beekeepers, man, they're pretty, they're super comfortable and moving frames around. And, I just try to be really careful um, not to drop them. I mean, it just disturbs them. So I'll put this frame back in here. And we're in these seven millimeter nitro gloves. Like that bee's tried to get me. And I tell you what, man, I've had a lot of luck with them. I knock on wood, but they haven't stung through them yet, which is good. All right, so that box is good. Cleans in that box. I know I had some brood up in here. All the guardians, a lot of eyes. I'm gonna talk about eyes, seeing eyes versus seeing butts. All these little eyes looking up and out. It's not really ideal. So what I want to do is I'll just take a little bit of smoke, kind of buzzing around my face a little bit, and I'm just going to throw some smoke on them, and then they go down in there. A little smoke coming my face. That'll keep them away. Pretty cool. Bees. So, um, I don't really need to get in the bottom box. Well, I'll take a look because I want to see the outer frames. See how those are looking. I mean, while well, I got it open, I don't like to open the hive any more than I really need to. Um, but we'll see. This one's going to be uh, not too heavy. That bottom one would be heavy because I know it's got a ton of um, a lot of brood, a lot of honey. So, mm -hmm. I don't like doing that. Because I want to make sure the clean doesn't come off. So, let's do this. That would be bad. If she falls off because she was hanging out on the bottom. Good. All right. Um, this one's got a ton of 
I want to look at these center frames. All right, quick, pull them because that's where she was hanging out a lot. So uh, there's gonna be a lot of honey. Oh, this one. Oh yeah, it's heavy. So that's a center frame, not a lot of honey, a lot of pollen. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take this frame and move it to the end. Um, pollen typically goes to the outside. So it's brood, honey, pollen, and empty frame. A lot of honey here. Look at that one quick. Yeah, a lot of pollen. This one's got a bunch of honey on it. Oh yeah, it's heavy. No brood though, which is fine. I'm just gonna slide these in. And that one, what are they doing with this one? Looks like they're just building that comb. Yeah, and honey. So I'm gonna take this pollen one that I pulled out and push it towards the end. It's got a little bit of honey. concerned about the other side too much that's a good way to get pop so I know Queenie's on this one We're going to town good I don't want to smash all those bees That's not good. They're swarming on me. not good it's not horrible so 
Now I've got to get this turned over. And hope that cleaning is good to go. Alright guys, I am so sorry about that. We're gonna try to do this together. In case the queen falls off, it needs to drop. Here we go. We'll let that settle up for a minute. We will damage assessment. watch again and uh, see if we've got eggs laid and she may have gone back down on that one I did I did have it sitting on top after I looked which would be good it means that she survived the fall Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to leave these guys alone for a few days. Alright, so I'm going to leave that be. No pun intended. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, now we'll put this one on top. There was a lot of brood in this one, and this one's heavy. 